Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. And uh, we're going to start with uh, actually the platform. So here we go. So this is it. Today is the uh, class number 20. And uh, this is the question for today. So also remember that since today we finished the fourth week, we need to be finishing the section number three, okay? So it's supposed that for tomorrow, we have to be done section one, section two, section three, of course, including the midterm test. So the next week is going to be the last one starting tomorrow. And uh, we need to move on with the section four. By the next Wednesday, we need to be done for everything. So you can finish up to Tuesday. On Tuesday, you can do everything there. Monday, Tuesday actually is, is good. So everything is fine. In just in case, remember something happened to the platform or there are some questions, it's better for us to finish before and not after that one, okay? Okay, so then we're gonna check about the attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present, Mr. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Iriana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanes. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Presente. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Perfect, uh, Ivan. So, and let's check here. Good one, because I got you as well. Okay, so we are going to continue actually with the book, and then we're going to watch a video, and then we're going to do the homework, and then we're going to continue with the reading for today. So, and uh, well, let's check into this one. So continuing professional development and how to, oh, well, actually that is not the one, that is surely the one. Hold on, it's also about commas as I remember. Ah, this is one. How to avoid sentence fragments. So it says look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. So the first part, Jose Wilfredo, could you please help us reading that one? Not possible. Okay. Maria Alejandra. Wait. Yes. Uh, oh, the paragraph. Yes, yeah, sentence fragment and then what the other parts out there. Okay. A sentence fragment are in complete sentence. Complete sentences stay complete through Told and contain verb and subject and bear expressing an action done by or to that subject. Fragment con confuse readers because they like a subject or, or a verb, which makes a meaning incomplete and unclear. Example, um, what a millennials really need, really need. This is this is an incomplete draw. There is not bare follow by the information that describes 
what millennials need having direction at work. This is a com this is a com in a complete code. Who is having direction at work? There is not a subject. Complete sentence, millennial subjects really need to have direction at work. Perfect. So those are sentence fragments. So these are like incomplete sentences. So thoughts, ideas that are not a complete sentence. And it says complete sentences state complete thoughts and contain both a subject and a verb expressing an action done by or to that subject. So remember that the subject can be the, the subject, the, the one who does, does the action or the object of the action. Fragments confuse readers because they lack a subject or a verb, which makes meaning incomplete and unclear. For example, what millennials really need? We only say that one is like, okay, but what they need? We don't know what they need, right? So this is an incomplete thought. There is no verb followed by the information that describes what millennials need. And the other one says having direction at work. This is also an incomplete thought because there is no subject, okay? I mean, who is doing the action? Who is receiving the action? So the complete sentence is millennials, that is the subject, really need to have direction at work, okay? And then it says tips to avoid fragments and to create complete sentences. Number one, look for misplaced periods that may incorrectly separate words into incomplete sentences. So before we checked about that one, right? So the period is important that it has a correct position, also commas, also many other things. Number two, add a missing subject or verb to create a complete sentence. And number three, Join two or more fragments into a complete sentence using a semicolon, okay? So that is uh, like a, and two ideas that might be together that might be linked, of course. Okay, uh, do you have any questions about this one? Before we move on. Okay, no questions. Everything is clear as horchata. So we have here the exercise number nine, identify and correct the sentence fragments. And there are, let's see, six, six sentences that we need to correct. So I will give you a few minutes for you to check, to identify if you want to write them down. If you have the book printed, you can do it. And uh, I will be here just, let's say around four minutes, and then we're gonna check together, okay?
Okay, have you finished already? Okay, so let's analyze. Who wants to check number one? It's just to identify or we need to rewrite them. Well, if you need to add or delete something, you can do it. Okay, uh, number one teacher, I think that is increased engagement has a direct impact on revenue. And I added a semicolon, I think. Semicolon, okay. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, semicolon. It is a great investment that helps to keep millennials interested. Very good, that is it. So revenue and then semicolon, that is very important. So everything makes sense, right? And at the, uh, after revenue, just said is. Uh, in this case, uh, the correct, I don't know the correct sentence, it would, would be it is. Right. Uh, well, both ways might or, be. Or it could be is just is. It's, it's possible to have just is. Yeah, it's a great oh, event okay. because we know that we're speaking about increased engagement, right? So, okay. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Number two, uh, the mass vector approach. Uh -huh. That those are like two ideas. Who wants to provide number two? Anybody? I don't know if in the second one we need to ask the verb to be the, the most effective approach is engaging millennials revolves around leadership i'm not sure okay very good the rest of the people what do you think i think the same the most effective approach is engaging millennials revolves revolves around leadership mm -hmm. okay so in this case i believe that the best option is this the most effective approach to engage millennials. Mm, to, okay. to, to engage. To engage because, because the verb the engage. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. what we want to do is engage millennials. So the most effective mm -hmm. approach okay. to engage millennials revolves around leadership. So it's around mm -hmm. leadership. That would be it. Okay, thank you. Good, number three, anybody? Okay, teacher, in number three, I rewrite non, no millennials. Assume this generation wants uh, acknowledgement and feedback. In this case, I will delete the, the period and just said and feedback because of participation through trophies during childhood. Perfect, that is just perfect. Definitely, we don't need a period there. And then the because uh, puts everything together, right? So that is perfect. That is nice. Good. And number it's like the bridge between the first part and the second part, right? Exactly. That is it. So if you have it like that, it doesn't make any sense. But if you put them together without the period, definitely. That is that is very good. Nice. Nice job. Uh, then number four, anybody? I don't know if in this case it's necessary to add a four. It's easy once you know their values 
uh, taking off the, the period. And it will be easy once you know their values for, or I don't know if it's by, no, 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 for connecting what they get, or could be two also. Okay. <laughs> it could be okay. by. By. Mm, by. That's a good one. So let's let's think about it. So and the rest of the people, what do you think? I will switch the order, teacher. Okay. Parts maybe I don't know connecting what they care about with what they are doing. Uh, it's or is mm. easy once you know their values. Perfect. That is it. Hey, you know you have the magic. That's good. So that is the way it is. Connecting what they care about with what they're doing is easy once you know their values. That makes sense. So, because the other one, it doesn't make sense at all, right? So it's like, what you're talking about? But if you switch the order and of course delete the period, everything will be easier. You can, you can also use a semicolon in that one, but together it's also, it's also a good idea. It's just one idea. There are not two ideas, good. Number five is going to be. Anybody? <laughs> I just uh, remove the, the period with, between millennials and such. There are some things to consider while working with millennials, such as acknowledging their impact and focusing on their strength. Okay. What does the other people, what do other people believe? Is, do you agree Is that what you did? Okay, actually, yes, the period is, is not needed there. Maybe with this one, since the idea is too long, because in mind, we say there are some things to consider while working with millennials, such as knowledge and their impact and focusing on the strengths. There is no pause. So we delete Hola. that one and we need to, to use a, a comma. Well, yeah. a col comma, ah, a comma. A comma, a semicolon also might work, okay? But it's more a semicolon. Yeah, a semicolon might be, might be better actually. So that is the only thing because there are like two ideas and I remember that you may you need to do like a pause in between. But period are different ideas. A, a colon, I mean a comma or semicolon is going to be much better. Good, perfect. Then number six is a successfully engaging. Who has done this one? Who can share that? anybody still thinking about this one okay I guess it's missing a comma after sharks. Okay. So it's going to be like successfully engaging millennials is a lot like engaging those Caribbean reef sharks. You'll need to create the perfect work environment. Everybody agrees on this? I agree with Ana Claudia. 
Mm -hmm. That is it. Very good, Ana Claudia. So that is it. So you just need to add a comma because it's too long. And yeah, it's the same idea, but we need to, uh, I mean, there is a separation. You'll need to create the perfect work environment. So exactly there, you need the separation, the little pause. Good, perfect. Any questions? Okay, very good. I don't think we have any other, no, okay. So we're gonna watch a little video and then uh, please provide me with some uh, feedback, some uh, comments, opinions about this one. Okay, here we go. Five generations of workers in today's economy. All successful people are big dreamers. They imagine what their future could be, ideal in every respect, and then they work every day towards their distant vision, that goal or purpose. Brian Tracy. Today, not all 55-year-olds are thinking about retirement. We're seeing a significant increase in the number of people in their 60s, 70s, or even 80s who are continuing to work. With more American workers choosing not to retire at the customary age, we now have five generations in the workforce. While there are many benefits to this diverse workforce, one challenge businesses can face is overcoming the generational gap. The difference in values, beliefs, skills, preferences, work ethic, and interests that naturally exist between one generation and another. But bridging the generational gap in the workplace doesn't have to be a difficult task. Having an understanding of what makes each generation tick, what their preferences are, and how they're vital to your organization can help you recruit, retain, and bring out the best in each employee you have, and create the most success for your company. First, identifying generational gap in the workplace. When you have a broad age range of people working together from their 20s to their 70s and beyond, some may have a hard time relating to each other in conversation or teamwork. You might find that people in one age group respond positively to a certain management style, but the same approach clashes with your other employees. Expectations for feedback, promotions, and benefits are likely different as are different ways to resolve conflicts. As we go over the defining characteristics of the five generational groups currently in the workplace, think of the members of your workforce and how you can adapt your company culture and management style to reach each person. Apply these principles as well as you recruit people to join your team and reach your company's goals. So here are the five generations of the workplace. First, Generation Z, the youngest generation in the workplace. These teens to mid 20 year olds were born between 1997 and 2012, and they have never known a world without the internet. They're very tech savvy and can help your company stay competitive in a quickly evolving technological and global workplace. This group appreciates opportunities to be innovative at their jobs since they're open-minded and entrepreneurial spirited. When recruiting Gen Z, emphasize the stability and security your company can offer to them. This group saw the impact that the Great Recession of 2008 had on their families and prefer a job that will offer consistency over flashy perks. Health insurance, student loan repayment options, retirement plans, and paid leave appeal to these young workers. Gen Z appreciates working in a flexible workspace that gives them independence over projects and decision making. They're willing to work hard and perform at their best when they have regular feedback from their managers, even as often as quick five minute check-ins several times a week. Then we have millennials. Millennials are your employees whose age span from their mid twenties through their thirties, born between 1981 and 1996. They make up 35% of the workforce, sliding past Gen X in 2016 to represent the largest portion among the generations now in the workplace, according to Pew Research Center. These men and women were growing up as technology and social media were coming of age. You can expect them to embrace teamwork and diversity and be multitaskers, less formal, and more open to change. Having technology in the workplace will attract millennials. Define the role that they will take on and clearly map out what your expectations are while allowing them to ask why. Millennials are looking for meaningful work and will want to know exactly what working for your company will be like. One of the keys to retaining millennials is to provide frequent feedback and structure. While time is perceived as the greatest job perk, flexibility and bonuses are also important. This group prefers a work environment that allows for professional growth, teamwork, and interaction with others. Next up is Generation X. These workers are in their 40s and 50s and were born between 1965 and 1980. Their mothers frequently worked outside of the home thus creating latchkey kids, and many of their parents fell prey to downsizing at no fault of their own. Because of these experiences, Gen Xers are self-reliant, hardworking, and not intimidated by authority. You can expect candid communication and a collaborative mindset. When recruiting Gen X, be clear about what your company has to offer them and your exact expectations. Similar to millennials, this group will be asking themselves if the position is right for them. A successful management style for these employees include constructive feedback, but they don't require as much oversight or excessive input. 
loyalty to a manager is much more valuable to this group than loyalty to a company. So being a mentor, supporter, and educator to a Gen X employee boosts retainment. Then we have the famous baby boomers. Baby boomers were born between 1946 and 1964, so they're in their late 50s to mid 70s. They grew up during the Vietnam War and civil rights reform. They're dedicated to work, described as workaholics, and are ambitious, motivated, and driven. While baby boomers respect authority, they don't necessarily trust authority. So being transparent and inclusive in your recruiting and managing is vital. Show respect for their experience as well as allow for questions. Training opportunities will convey to baby boomers that they are investment worthy to your organization despite their age. Feedback is not as valued by this generation as is recognition, title, acknowledgement, and advancement positions when earned. You can generally depend on boomers to be more comfortable in leadership and mentoring positions. And then finally, we have the silent generation, our eldest members of our workforce. These valuable employees are in their mid 70s and above, born between 1928 and 1945. They bring the traditional American values of hard work, loyalty, respect for authority, and conformity to your company. When recruiting, focus on your company's history and how this person will be able to contribute to its overall goals. This generation is interested in how they can help your organization succeed and even be part of its legacy. Many are willing to work as consultants given their years of experience. Retaining members of this silent generation involves creating a sense of satisfaction for a job well done. Constant feedback is not necessary. Instead, quarterly reviews are welcome, but no news is good news to them. Welcome rewards are those that are earned honestly and include monetary compensation and retirement benefits. To manage these employees effectively, be aware that they appreciate having responsibilities and control over their environment or projects, and they also have the desire to lead. Because they are traditionalists, this group prefers a conventional work environment with a top-down chain of command. So now, how should you bridge the gap between generations in the workplace? Understand and appreciate each generation for who they are and adjust your hiring and management strategies and company culture to meet the needs and play to the strengths of each group. Are you looking to improve your leadership skills? Download Brian's free leadership questionnaire in the description of this video. According to data reported by Boston College, companies that are the most successful in recruiting and retaining a multi-generational workforce do the following. They match their workforce to their customer base. They create councils and boards that are intergenerational. They pay attention to employee demographics. They have mentoring programs. They provide opportunities for continued education. They offer a wide variety of benefits for employees to choose from. They have flexible schedules and offer horizontal movement. Being aware of these generational differences and making purposeful adaptation to bring out the strengths of having a diverse workforce and become a true asset to your company as you strive for success. Now, the question today is this, how can you bridge the generational gap? Leave a comment below and Brian will be sure to follow up with you. Okay, so what did you get from this? This okay. video was made uh, using as a reference the first study we've been studying, right? The the the, the gaps in the in the span between these years night like the the one i i guess we saw on monday it's totally different okay. uh, mm, yes when he's explaining my generation i totally agree with that and you know studying these uh, topics these subjects it uh, helped me a lot on tuesday well yesterday I had like, there was like a misunderstanding in, in, the, in my job, in my team, uh, because we were supposed to uh, reach some uh, KPIs and there was like a kind of confusion. So uh, I don't know, maybe my manager was in, in a, not, a, it was in one of those days mood, strange mood and understanding the, the, the span where he belongs believe me at the beginning i was because he sent me an information through the chat and i answered him through the chat at the beginning i was th uh, thinking i'm going to say this this write this this and this because this is what i think and then i read again and read again and i said no i'm going to answer as he wants to hear depending on the generation he belongs it was a successful, <laughs> it was a success. <laughs> and now it's like a, everything we have, we have to meet is during the day with the team. 
uh, every since we have a team meeting through the Google Meet, of course. It's like I hear them and I can uh, understand their differences. <laughs> it's totally funny. They don't know that I like like um, uh, listening or, or uh, but but they fit incredible. And in my case, uh, no, having all this knowledge, these differences between all the generations helped me a lot. Uh, how to conduct myself on a daily basis and. Also, I see it like it put me away to get in trouble. Because, uh, uh, for example, the situation, yesterday situation, I was about to explode, but I said, no, I'm going to answer as he wants, as his gen the generation he belongs. And it was, and we are in peace now, right? But, <laughs> but it was, it's good. I like these topics. Okay, very good. That is the good thing that we can learn, and not, it's not just to practice English, but sometimes mm -hmm. it's for us to learn things that probably we hear about that one. But now that we have the chance to compare with real people, right, mm -hmm. and to to identify, we can say, oh, it, it matches, right? And maybe mm -hmm. not at a hundred percent, but of course it matches. And now I, I am able to understand mm -hmm. and to to have a better, a better approach with these mm -hmm. people. So that is very yeah. good, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect, thank you, Ana Claudia. Any other comments or opinion? For me, teacher, uh, for me is the, the video, is the comparative, the generation. Uh, with the advantage and the uh, and the disadvantage the, the for the individual generation for example the the baby bomber uh, the generation the uh, strictly professional the strictly professional uh, generation x uh, the generation that they foster collaboration and uh, generation uh, the millennials is a digital native uh, for example, the generation uh, uh, C, uh, the generation is e social network and digital language. It's, for me, it's comparative, the, the generation. Very good. It's very useful, right? We are able to understand better and also to understand ourselves. I mean, sometimes you, everybody believes that you are you don't fit at all but that sometimes happens maybe not a hundred percent but then you understand yourself oh that's why i like things to be done this way or things you know so that is good good any other comments or opinion about the video my case teacher i think well at the beginning when i saw the five generations i i just count four for me the last one for the video maybe could be the baby boomers and i can i i didn't even imagine that they i don't know i didn't even know about the last generation that was the silent silent the silent I, yeah yeah so i think that well at the beginning maybe we can think that it's impossible to to work with with this um variety of, of generations, but uh, I think that at the end, the key is that if you analyze uh, the strengths of each generation, maybe the result could be a very successful company. I think that the, all depends on how you, um, how you, oh my God, I don't remember. Como puedes abordar? How you can approach, you can say approach. Oh yeah, how you can approach each generation and identify the strengths of each generation. And uh, with, with, that, with that base, you can create a very good plan of, uh, and create maybe a, a, very, a very good workplace and an environment in the companies. Perfect. Oh. You are yeah. so right. So we are able then to, to take advantage right so uh, instead of saying oh this 
this person. He he never does what I I want them to do. Instead mm -hmm. of that one, we need to understand them and then take advantage of everything that they can do. So that is very very important, and also for us to understand that there are different kind of people, so we can manage different situations in different ways. Very good. Any other comments or opinion? Teacher, the truth is that it's not that easy to work with with so many generations. Uh, but it's a good idea to take advantage of the skills of each generation and counteract the weaknesses mm -hmm. of some with the strengths of others. I totally agree. Heidi, you are so right. I mean, actually, I was going to ask you, um, in your companies, do you believe that they actually uh, manage different generations in different ways? The, the, the main idea is that we work for a same company and we got the same goal. So we try to, to interact in a good way so we can get the best of, of each generation. My boss is a baby boomer and the greatest part, part of my team are millennials. That's okay. why I, I assure you, it's not easy. Yeah, it's not easy. And uh, one of the things that happens in companies is that, I mean, they have a code of conduct, they have rules, they have guidelines, they have procedures, and they are the same for everybody, right? Exactly. So even if you are a millennial or if you are a baby boomer or if you are a Gen Z, you need to do the, the tasks in the way that the company believes is better. So that makes it a little bit complex, right? Because maybe you believe that this is, is, is better to do it in a different way or to do it in a different time or with a different, I mean, but I mean, we need to follow directions and we need to, to do things as the company says, right? So. Exactly, respect is one of the most that. important things. So at the end, I believe that what we can do is just to take advantage of that one. And whenever we trip with somebody, we try to understand them, right? We try to to identify and then say, oh, this person, it's better for me to, to explain this in this way or, or not in this other way or uh, to motivate them in this other way. So maybe that's what we need to do. I mean, and maybe the human resources, if somebody is in human resources, they are the ones that maybe are more committed for this kind of situation. The rest of the people is just the way that you are going to treat them, right? Of course, if you are, the head of a department, you take, uh, you need to take in consideration these things um, for for you to have a successful team. But other than that, we need to follow guidelines and we need to follow the structure that the company already has. Of course, we can always provide feedback, right? Whenever there is a chance, we can just provide feedback, and that will be that will be very useful for for the company. Any other comments, opinions about this video? Okay, so before we move on to the homework that I know that you are ready, right, to, to tell us about things in your life that are important for you, uh, we're going to do a little dynamic, okay? Hey, let me just check here. How many are we right now? So 16, let me just stop sharing. And let's see. Yes, I guess we can do it. So this is what we're gonna do. Let me just check how many emails we have. Okay, we have exactly half and a half. Okay, well, actually, no, we have one girl that is well. Okay, I need um, one boy that helps me with this one, only one who wants to help me doing something. It's going to be very easy. Okay, teacher, me. Very well, I'm going to type you the instructions here in the chat. Okay. Okay. So you know what you need to do. Let me just check. I hear you are okay.
Okay, I sent you the instructions. Were you able to read them? Yeah, I'm reading. Do you have any question about your task? Uh, I want to share with you only for uh, being sure. Okay. Uh, of course, I'm going to provide directions for everybody, but you are not going to be included in any of the two groups that is going to participate. So you just will be uh, like the person that is going to be checking into that specifically. Okay, just, just let me. Okay. Okay, in the meantime, I will provide instructions for everybody. Okay, this is a little dynamic that sometimes is common to do it in some companies. I used to do it sometimes uh, because of some things. Let me see. Uh, let me just answer one. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. Uh, for, for us to make it a little bit easier, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, okay, I, I, I have understood. Okay, very good. So this is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're going to do two groups, but for us to do it a little bit easier, it's going to be uh, boys and girls, okay? Boys, so we don't have to remember which team are you or who is in your team, boys and girls, okay? And, uh, the winner of this activity, because it's like a contest, the one that we're going to do, the winner is the one, uh, the person or the team that says the whole story. So this is about a story that we're going to tell. But this is what happens. What happens is that I'm going to tell you only the end of the story, okay? Only the end of the story. You can chat with other people. You can discuss some things. If you want to say the story, that is good. So you can say, I want to try to tell the story, okay? So I'm going to tell you only the end of the story and you, anybody, uh, is able to ask me questions. But I will be able just to answer yes or no. That is it, okay? So it's going to be girls first and boys second. We are going to go in order, one and one. And if somebody wants to say uh, the story, you can tell me and we can give it a shot. Is it clear or do you need me to repeat the instructions? Uh, teacher, this dynamic has to see with the homework or not? No, it's totally different. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's totally different. I will tell you only the end of a story and you have to rebuild, retell the story, uh, the whole story, including the end, of course. But it has to be the story that I know, okay? It's not any story, it's the, the story that I need you to tell me. So that's why you are going to ask me questions. Okay. Yes, sir. Ask me any kind of questions and I will be able to answer yes or no. And you take in consideration those answers so you can build the story. Okay, uh, any question about this? If you have questions, the moment is now to ask. You're going to tell us the end of an existing story or we're going to invent? You are not going to invent. You are going to research about what happened. So then you can tell the whole story. Okay. I got it. Okay. Anybody else has any other question?
the moment is right now with confidence. You can ask me anything. Okay, so let's make it. The end of the story is this, okay? There is a man with no clothes, dead in the desert, with a little stick in the hand. You know what is a stick? A piece of wood, a little stick in the hand. So the end of the story is this. There is a man, that man, dead with no clothes in the desert with a stick, a piece of wood in the hand. Is it clear the end of the story? In the hand or in the head? In the hand. Okay. In the hand. Okay. So girls go first. Any girl can ask questions, whatever you want to ask, so you can start researching. We can we can uh, ask you. Uh -huh. Is this man uh, anything about? Anything. Yeah, anything for you to get to the. the yeah, anything. Yeah, it's is going to be. Is this an old man? Okay, so this is the first question. Is this an old man? Um, no. Okay. Now, boys. Is he bald? Actually, it's the turn of the boys. So, any boy, any representative of the males wants to ask a question? Any question for you to research. You can take notes, you can do whatever you want. If you want to chat between you, you can do it. Then in the chat, actually you can do it. Um, so, no questions, the boys? Hello? Um. Uh, it was a businessman who died for a death. Um, no. It was. It, he was not more. Oh, sorry. This one, only one. <laughs> yeah, it's only only one. Okay, yeah, only okay. one question. But you can okay, you can well. think about that one so you can continue. Very good. Okay. Okay. So now it's girls' time. Any question? And the man was killed. Killed, assassinated. Murder? No. Boys. Mm. He, he arrives there. Mm. By the air. He like arrives, crash. Okay, he arrives by air. Yes. Good. So now, girls. How did he miss his clothes? No. <laughs> Remember that I can answer only just no. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Good. Now it's turn of the boys. Uh -huh. So we know one thing, all right. Well, the end of the story and one thing. So that's good. What else? He, he loves 
or take off his clothes uh, to to achieve something to survive yes good would you repeat please uh, if he removed his clothes to achieve something to survive okay we have two yes already that's good girls this is your turn let's see who's the winner you are going to earn a trip all paid with uh, everybody so you can go to mexico city now that's not true anyways girls questions Uh -huh. Did he die of dehydration or starvation? Dehydration? No, he didn't. Boys. Um. Did he end up in that place for an airplane crash? Airplane crash? No. Mm -hmm. Good. Girls. Is he the only one in this scene or there are other peoples? Mm, that is a tough question. Uh, yes, there are other people. Oh, okay. Let's say yes. Good. Boys. Mm, the, the little stick is, is not necessarily a part of the plane or the something that they flew no no okay girls time And one more clue. <laughs> okay, good. Let's check what the girls wants to ask. Any girl wants to ask something? Hello, girls. The men had an accident in a boat. Okay, in a boat? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Remember that somebody said, "Was he there in the desert? Uh, he he, he arrived by air." And I say yes. So he's in the desert. Uh, right? Okay, I think that it's not in the air. <laughs> yeah. It okay. Was okay. Air. Very good. Okay, girl. No, boys' time. In. I don't know. Uh, I, I I was thinking about um, this um, this little trick about um, about the, the the little stick. Um, I don't know if this is part of a bed because they were with another person or other people. He and, was with other people. Yeah. 
yeah if he took took off her clothes mm, to remove weight and to continue removing weight one of them have to be the one who jumped <laughs> mm, okay yes you are right and you are very close now it's missing mm -hmm. something but you are very close okay, okay. good nice the last question uh, for you repeat or 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 do the sentence or the question uh, yeah the question was something like uh, did he remove the clothes so he uh, lose weight okay no but but for me uh, the the question or the idea is um, this little stick uh, it was a part of a game or a bet ah okay no doing... no it wasn't okay Okay, now it's girls' time. Uh, let me just close the door. But go ahead, I'm here. So girls, it's your time. Huggers. Hello. Hello, Moto. I don't know what else to ask. <laughs> you are researching, so you can ask whatever, right? So when you are researching, you can ask. Any question just to, for you to identify and try to get the rest of the story. We know some things. He was with other people. Um, he removed his clothes by himself. Um, he was there by air. So. So he died because of the impact. Like he, I don't know. He, he, he died by the air, so he died because the impact? Um, yes and no, okay. Remember somebody asked me, did he crash in an airplane? And I say, no. Uh -huh. But yes. But, but, uh -huh. but maybe I, I mean that maybe not a crash, maybe it was something else and he just, just fell. Maybe and then oh. die because of that impact with the okay. Yeah, he died because he he had an impact in oh. the, on the on the on the floor on the soil. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the boys. Um, did he was pushed up from the airplane? Was he pushed? No. He used a, a, a parachute or emergency parachute. Mm. So he was jumping from a, a parachute. And no, no. But okay, that's good. You are get, you are doing the right questions. That's good. Was he a soldier, teacher? Was he a soldier? No. Okay, boys time. Uh, 
Anybody? Hello, boys. It's your time. So we know that he removed the clothes by himself so he can survive. Uh, we know that he was not pushed. He was impacted into the floor. He was there by air. And uh -huh. what else? Um, was he chased by someone? No. So he was being persecuted, being chased. No. Girl's time. He was, uh, the last question, if he was? Chased, being chased. Oh, okay. Girl's time, it's your turn. So girls, any questions so you can solve the mystery? So, um, okay. He and the other people was in the, uh, okay, he died by the air, but he wasn't in an airplane. But he and the other people was in a kind of, I don't know how to say it, like a mechanical transportation or like helicopter or that kind of, 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 okay. of device or, uh, or means of transportation, not yeah. a mechanical one. Not a mechanical. No. Okay. okay. I have my, my next question. <laughs> sure, I know that you have it. That's good. So, boys, it's your turn. Okay. They were flying. Mm, in a balloon. In a balloon. Oh, in a... <laughs> you stole my question. <laughs> <laughs> but you are getting it. I was about to ask that too. Uh, okay, good. In a balloon. I I so, I I starting to suspect that when, uh, well, every 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 um, machine to fly has to have to have. Uh, the less uh, weight, but the balloon are the most that when they are failing or something or losing the the the, the fire or something, they you have to remove or get rid of of the weight. Okay. Possible in okay. order to maintain <laughs> flying. Very good, Danny. So the answer for that question is yes. He was flying in a aerostatical globe. Okay. So very good. Now, anybody wants to say the story or do you want to continue asking questions? I think teacher that he jumped from the balloon, but maybe not by choice. I don't know, maybe because uh, everybody decide maybe who, 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 who has, who, who, who has to, to jump to save everybody? I don't know, something like that. You are very close. Maybe a question that I have for you is, how did they decide who is going to jump? Mm. I told you. 
something before my idea. It has I, to be with a little stick. Yeah, I remember I saw in a in a in a series on Netflix that they choose they they have these sticks and who who get the the little one. Yeah, is the little one right? In that yeah, the little one, thing? small one. Yeah, the small one. That person lost, or so this guy lost. Very and good. He jumped yeah. from the balloon. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I told you before it was a part of a bet or, or something like that. This is a bet you. Oh, like, know. like a, I, I thought that you were saying bet, bet like. For you no, to no, sleep. bet, bet, no, bet with tea. Uh -huh. Okay. It's a part of the bet. Well, yeah, it's. Or well, gamble, I don't know. A gamble, maybe like for you to choose something. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's so why I say before, <laughs> okay. I, my mind was that way. <laughs> Very good. So let's say that you both have the, the response. I will tell you the story, how it's going to be, right? So some friends they were flying in a globe through the desert but suddenly the globe had a failure and started to fall and they said we're gonna die what can we do so maybe that is the only missing part they decided everybody to remove their clothes to check if actually that is going to help but didn't help so at the end they had to say one of us it needs to jump so the rest of the people is alive, right? And they have the, that, the name of that one is straw, actually. Uh, the one who gets the shortest straw is going to jump. So the man took the shortest straw naked and he jumped and he died. Oh, poor man. Poor man. <laughs> Very good, nice, perfect. So now Juan Miguel, uh, there was, I guess, not no repeated questions, right? What did you get from yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we have 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21 questions. Okay. Okay, uh, no one was repeated. Uh, the questions were, he, is this an old man? And the answers, and the answer was not. Uh, is he a businessman? No. Uh, has the man, uh, was the man killed? No. Uh, he arrives there by air? And the answer was yes. How did he miss the clothes? It was an open that question. Okay. Um, did he remove the clothes to survive? And the answer, I think it was yes. Okay. Uh, the other one, uh, did he die for the dehydration? I don't know how to say this. Dehydration. Uh -huh. Um. Okay. Was the airplane crashed, crashed? No. Was the only one on the scene or were more people? Uh, the answer was uh, there were more, more people. Uh, and the other one was, uh, did he have an accident on a boat? The answer was not. Um, did he remove the clothes or lost the weight? Yes. Did he die because of the impact? Yes. And no. Okay. Uh, was he pushed? No. Um, has he or was? No. Um, did he jump from a parachute? No. Was he a soldier man? No. Uh, was he being chased? No. Was he on a mechanical artifact device or vehicle? No. Uh, did he was 
on a balloon? Yes. Uh, did he have the, the smallest stick? And the answer was yes. Okay. So very good, thank you. And uh, well, very good job. Actually, there were not that many questions. Sometimes we reach a lot of questions. Sometimes, the most of the cases, the people repeat questions. And sometimes what happens also that there are questions that are not relevant. Um, so the meaning, I mean, the objective of this kind of uh, dynamic, of this kind of situation, this kind of practice is to train people so they can research in a very good way so they can do good problem questions and also to check if they are able to follow directions right so if they are able to follow directions and they are able to research so it's a little training it's a little dynamic that sometimes we use for trainings whenever people they need to ask questions for example if you if you are in customer service for example you know that people they call or they go to the office and they sometimes they don't know what they want. They know that they want something, but sometimes they are not clear on what they want to do or they don't have any idea. So we need to research. We need to ask questions. Okay, what do you want? What do you have? What kind of service is the one that you're paying for? How much are you paying? I don't know. So we need to research. So this kind of activity is for that kind of situation. If you have people on your charts that they need to research and find a solution for somebody, that is a very good activity that you can do. okay but uh, how how can you say when uh, you are doing the thing that you were talking about but um uh, how to say this in english uh, i don't know if the correct word is conduct como conducir a or in order to uh, research or doing some research to uh, get a conclusion or to find a, what is the client wants because because of you did uh, because of you were talking about uh, people customer service uh, your clients go to to you and sometimes uh, they don't know what they want so you have to some research uh, and conducirlos a lo que ellos quieren. I don't know how to say this. Yeah, you can say drive them. Drive them through. Uh, drive, drive them. Oh, okay, drive them through in order to, to, to get the solution or to, to, get the, to get the sale, maybe. So very good. That is it. This kind of activities sometimes are valuable and it's like a game, but of course it's a, like a, with an objective. So things like that we can include whenever we have the chance to train people. It's going to be a very good idea for you to, to include this kind of activities whenever you have the chance. Okay. Good. So now I'm going to check the attendance because we haven't. So Ada Susana Cáceres, Mendoza. Present teacher. Good. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Good. Dani Josue Garcia Martinez. Present, teacher. Good. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanes. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Sorry. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present. Good. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. And uh, 
Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. And Suleyma Yvonne Moreno de Hernandez. Okay, perfect. Okay, so now we're going to check about the uh, homework that we have, okay? So let's check how it goes. Um, who wants to be the first person, who wants to be the first volunteer to tell? To, uh, you remember that yesterday we were saying that today you were going to bring something and tell us about that. You can bring a picture, an object, or any kind of situations that you want to share with us and tell us about that one. Who wants to be the first one? Okay, teacher, I'll be the first one if you don't mind. Of course, I'm very, very happy to listen to you. Uh, can I share? Definitely, you can, yeah, you can share or you can also uh, turn on the, the camera, whatever you want. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. It's the flower. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay. Good. Uh, well, since you said uh, we could talk about a thing that that we care about, well, of course I care about. My flower, but, but I wanted to talk to you about my flowers. I'm very blessed to have a beautiful garden, and these flowers you're seeing is my favorite. It's called the caracola. It's a climbing climbing plant. You know this. Climbing plant means that uh, it can climb walls or, or uh, let me see if I got another picture of this one. But this one, the first one is my favorite. I'll show you several. Okay. This other one is called Heliconda. Comes up when it rains. See those beautiful colors? Nice. And these ones are called mosaendas. I love their color too. We love flowers, my friend. <laughs> I'm in love with flowers, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. What, is, I know. What, is, what is the name of that one? This one is called mosaenda. Uh, okay. I got three colors. This one is my favorite, but there is in, in white and red. Uh, I don't know. I, I, sorry, Heidi, I didn't know that. There was some red. I just have this pink and white. In red is beautiful, but these days rains drop me the red one. So I have to buy a new one. Okay. Thank you. But it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I love this garden. And these ones are um peraneras. Peraneras and navideñas. Let me see. And this one comes with the rain too, are lirios, white lirios. I got pink ones and red ones. In my... This is my favorite part of the garden because it has a lot of little flowers, little ones, and coleos, different kind of coleos. I have counted, I have counted about 250 kind of plants in this garden. Yeah, I mm -hmm. And I got lorocos, mangoes, and bananas, and mint, oregano, and uh, ginger, Amazing. and sabela. Look. Here's where I spend most of my time at home. Okay, that's very Keeping good. from the kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In my free time, <laughs> yeah, where's mom? Where's mom? <laughs> Mind the plant. <laughs> You're certainly you will find me here. And this one is is called Tumbergia. And 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 they, we got uh, this kind, and there is another plant that is uh, is aqua. And I'm looking for it, but I haven't found it. Okay. So if you have seen any, you can tell me. <laughs> I, I was going to share more pictures, but I, I 
food. I didn't have enough time. Oh, uh, I hope you like my flowers. I really love them. Oh, I'm, I'm not I'm not that kind of girl that likes to decorate or, you know, set Christmas tree. I don't like that, but I really love flowers. You have a beautiful garden and you have lots of plants and lots of flowers. That, that is amazing. Yeah, I always try to have one near. It's true. Look, here's another one. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Flowers around all the time. <laughs> That is very nice. I mean, if you love uh, that and it's your hobby and you can have the most of the ones that you want, ah, that is amazing. Very good. And we are very happy that you were no, able I to didn't. Show. I didn't have a, a, a hobby like that, um, you know, because for a moment, it's very hard to find a hobby, right? Yeah. But since my husband is away from home working, I have the time enough to, to dedicate it to the garden. And I'm very happy to do it. Yeah, it's close nice. my mind away from work. <laughs> very good. It's amazing. Thank you for sharing. And well, that is that is actually amazing. Very good. Anybody has a question for uh, Heidi for the flowers or anything? No questions. Okay, perfect. Thank you for sharing, Heidi. It's very good. And uh, yeah, it looks that. You have a, a very good place to be, so that is amazing. Yeah, I'm very, very blessed. Yeah, very good, perfect, thank you. Okay, very good, so now who wants to be the next one? Hello. Okay, I'm going to choose them. Uh, let's see. Roberto Orellana, is it possible for you? I guess everybody's going to say no. Uh -huh. Raymond, Ramon, what are you going to share? Hello, Raymond. Not possible. Let's see, Jose Wilfredo. Go be me, teacher, if you want. Okay, so let's listen to Giselle and then we go back to Jose Wilfredo. Very good. Okay, I'm going to share. Yeah, I'm going to talk about just this, this is going to be really fast, I think. <laughs> but Tell you my my favorite food. Tacos. Good. Nice. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> yeah. Tacos, well, it's, I don't know how to say, how to say about this. Tacos are tacos. And yeah. I, I was reading uh, that, well, my favorite is tacos and pastor. So I was reading about that this, this type or this, I don't know how, how to name it, but this type of tacos, tacos al pastor, were introduced like in the early 90s in Mexico, I think. So yeah, when I'm sad, I eat tacos. I eat tacos. When I'm happy, I eat tacos. And when, I'm, when I want to celebrate something, I eat tacos. And I, I eat it, the tacos with my favorite beverage or drink, Coca-Cola. And actually, I saw this meme today. Okay. I don't know if you can, I don't know, I'm going to, to. I feel identified with that one. <laughs> so, yeah. That's me. I, I saw the meme and said, oh, mommy, it's me. And I shared this on my Facebook. Okay. Yeah, I think that my mom and my dad, but since bap, how do you say that, teacher? Baptize. Baptize me in this way, with Coke, because I love Coke. So you so, love Coke. Yeah, really love Coke. My colon hated, but <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and do you drink that every day? Um, I try not to drink every day, but it's hard, you know. <laughs> I can't resist sometimes. But yeah, that's 
that soul teacher very fast very short but my favorite food with my favorite drink and yeah i think that that maybe and um, it's not just me i think that maybe a uh, another classmate shared this feeling about tacos oh i love tacos you know um actually i was thinking i i always wanted to know and i don't know if you know why the name is al pastor i, I don't know do you know anything about that mm, i don't read it something about that but we can we can google it why not yeah we can research on that one right yeah what name tacos al pastor okay, okay. um Mm, okay, San Google said that this style of taco refers to roasting pork on a vertical spit, which is as which is a testament to its roots. In English, it could it, we we could name this type of tacos like shepherd style. Okay. And how many tacos can you eat in in a home? <laughs> Oh my God, if I am starving, I don't know, maybe six or seven tacos. Seven. But with a lot of, a lot of uh, pork, you know, and tomato and lemon and spicy sauce. Oh my God, I want tacos now. Yeah, me too. I'm so hungry right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, do you put hot? Chili pepper into that one, or don't you like that? Chili pepper? Mm, no, I prefer to to. Well, I prefer the the tacos with hot sauce. Okay. Or green sauce. Green sauce is my favorite. Oh green my god, sauce. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love. I really love it. And actually, I love so much, so bad that sauce that I learned to make that sauce. So sometimes I prefer tacos uh, with my family, and they love my green sauce too. Okay, if you, if you can share, if you can share that one on the group, I will really appreciate. It. I, I want to learn okay. about that. <laughs> I, I can give you the receipt. <laughs> Very good, perfect, Mayan. I'm going to have tacos for the weekend. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Anybody else have a question for Giselle? Have you ever tried birria tacos? Yeah, actually, it's one of my favorite hobbies. Yeah. Try <laughs> try to 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 the 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 birria tacos of different restaurants. I properly said that. Please don't try the birria tacos of La Calaca. Oh my god, I hate it. The yeah, birria yeah, was yeah. um the birria was I don't know the the it doesn't taste good. I don't know. But tacos hermanos, oh my God. A very good recommendation for tacos de birria. Okay. Interesting. Very good. So, yeah. One day we have to go and make a trip tasting tacos with yourself. Yeah. yeah. We can make a trip <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. We can start in the morning and have breakfast with tacos <laughs> and then the lunch and then the the dinner well, so tasty. <laughs> that sounds very very good <laughs> <laughs> perfect thank you for sharing yourself okay teacher my pleasure okay and uh, jose wilfredo are you ready yes teacher i'm ready tell us yes but i roll you i don't know if you can check your whatsapp oh, okay yeah let me just check here Okay. Uh, okay, it's just uh, just one picture, right? Yep. Okay, let me then just something here. And this one. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm ready to share. Let's see how it goes. Perfect. 
So that is it. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I don't know if someone is familiar with this picture, but it's really important who loves the trip. And also for you who loves to sleep on the trip, because this is one important uh, theme that you have to buy if you want is one multi-position travel pilot, pilot. So this works that you have to, to put a little bit early and then you could sleep as you want in whatever position. So it's, re it's really comfortable. I have one of those, but I don't have a picture uh, wearing it, but I can, recommend those for whatever trip. And if the trip is for a long distance, you could buy it. And I found this in one, um, could, could I say market website? It was like a marketplace or something like that? Uh, yeah, marketplace, uh-huh. Just that I don't want to pronounce, uh, or I don't want to say the name, but it's one of the famous names. Is it like a pillow, Jose Wilfredo? Yeah, that's right. Just that this. Uh, okay. The and the, 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 this whole app is for your head and the other one? Yeah, the other one is for your stomach. Right. It's just to, to, to be. So you wear it like a sweater, something like that? Yeah, that's right. Ah. Looks nice. Yeah, that's right, and it's, and it's really comfortable. So, but, but and, and may I know uh, the large of this? I mean, if this second... No. You could uh, choose whatever size that you are. Ah, the, the second hole you say is for the stomach? Yeah, just... Uh, I guess so maybe, maybe the size the... and the large, it would be on your uh, hip, hip is the name? Yeah. Uh -huh. Ana Claudia, so we can see his belly bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my God. First yeah, but time I see really something like that. And I could recommend. Yeah. So it looks very, very good, actually. And how much, how much is something like that? Uh, well, I don't know because I buy, I bought it when was uh, Cyber Monday and I paid like $20. Mm, okay. Yeah, the price is good. $20 is, yeah. is a good one. Yeah. Good. So do you do you do some trips? I mean, yeah. where, yeah. where do you usually go to trip? Uh, to the mountains? Uh, no. Well, I go to the mountain, to the beach, but where I try it, or where I went for a long time, for a, yeah, for a long time, it was a trip uh, to US. Okay, perfect. Yeah, and was very really comfortable. Yeah, it looks like that. I mean, it looks yeah. very, very good actually. Yeah, that's right. Perfect. Anybody else has a question for um, Wilfredo? Okay, no questions. Very good. Thank you for sharing, uh, Jose Wilfred. Okay. It was okay. very interesting. I, I never knew about something like that, so that's good. Good. Let's uh, listen to Ada Cáceres. Are you ready? Is it possible for you, Ada? Not possible. Okay, Juan Miguel Brand. Okay, okay, teacher. Just let me share my screen. Of course. Okay. In my case, uh, I don't know if you want if you can uh, view my screen. Yeah, yeah, where I was. Okay, it's about a video game. 
uh, this video game is called uh, Call of Duty. Uh, I I played this game since two years ago. No, no one year ago. Um, and I I I found this game or I find this game very interesting, very and uh, and third entertaining entertaining um after a long day in my work and, and obviously after a short time or spend time with my family with my son and my wife uh, this is the end of, of my day okay uh, playing some uh, games with my friends and um I like this game because uh, every, almost every 70, 70, 70, 70 days, mm -hmm. 70 days, uh, they have some uh, new modes, new, uh, new seasons with uh, new maps, with new guns or weapons. And obviously you have to, uh, make uh, or to do your own loud out they call it uh, the loud out <laughs> the way that you configure or you set your weapons in order to get a uh, or to be better than the other players so uh, in this game uh, you have a, a variety of modes you can uh, play in squads okay uh, you can play by your own. Uh, you can play also uh, in a huge map or in small maps. And in small maps, uh, the parties are uh, very exciting because uh, is your 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 squad against other. Uh, uh, nine squads and obviously wins uh, win uh, the last man or the last squad standing okay um, you can uh, find some new characters or new skins in this case uh, these those are uh, new operators or new characters and you can buy if you want some uh, some mejoras I don't know how to say this in English improvements okay improvements uh, like skins weapons uh, and obviously in each season or when you have some new weapons you have to uh, get a higher level the weapon to unlock some features like uh, the optic, like the uh, like the magazine, with the number of rounds of the magazine, and something like that. Okay, uh, like I say, there are many maps, many modes, uh, or many types of the game. In this case, in this season, this is the main character of the of the party of or of the season, uh, and this this one is a new map uh, that was introduced on June 20, 22 or 22nd, 22nd, 22nd. I think, yeah. or 22. Uh, the first the first day that we played with my friends, all of all of us were like a, um, like a lost because. This one it was a, a new, new map, and we didn't know where were the things, where were the uh, uh, the ways that you have to, or that you uh, walk in order to, to hide, in order to attack the enemy or something like that. But uh, through the time, did you get a more um, not used 
uh, to the map. And I think it's kind of entertaining and sometimes hilarious because you are uh, engaged with the with your squad and trying to shoot other squads and uh, there is other people there are other people that uh, instant, instantly they came for you and you lost the body and it's very hilarious I don't know I think it's all what I have to say Okay, very good, very interesting. To be honest with you, I have never played this one. And uh, you say that there are like different seasons. So you pay extra for each season? Um, in my case, I just paid only for one season. You paid uh, around uh, $10 or $12. Uh, and you, you gain some points in order to... Uh, to recover or to uh, to recover these points, and with with the same points, uh, you can uh, get the new battle pass. The, the battle pass is the uh, is all the walkthrough to the season, and you can unlock many items like skins, new weapons. Uh, Obviously, if you want to spend your money, you can spend uh, whatever you want. But in my case, no, only I think was $12 since the last year. And I, wa I, I I'm playing since the last year with the, with the same money. Okay. Mm, that's interesting. That's very good. I didn't know that one. But that season that you pay for, uh, is more, I mean, it's extra from the video game or is just that one? Okay, this video game, the, the, the Call of Duty has a, these two, um, these two kind or type of games. This Vanguard, who is paid and this play, this game is the whole game. Okay, you can, you have a, uh, missions to accomplish but the, the 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 one that i played is warzone that is free to play uh, you can download to your pc or to your console uh, install it and you can play for free if you want to spend uh, you can do it but if you don't want there is no problem because you can play and it's it's like this. It's like that. It sounds interesting. Very good. I didn't know. Of course, I went, I will look for that one, definitely. Okay. Good. Anybody has questions for um one? If anyone uh, plays this video game, I can share my my ID in order to to get more, more friends. <laughs> oh, very good. That that sounds like a plan, man. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I don't play, but my brother do so. Okay. Very good. Any other uh, question? Any comments for uh, Juan? Okay, so it seems that it's a very good way for you to relax. It's very interesting. I know that that is very relaxing. I know that is totally different. And uh, if you play with friends also, it's, it's very awesome. It's very good. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's listen now to Jose Osmin. Are you ready? Not possible, Jose Osmin. Okay, then, Danny. Um, okay. Um, well, what I'm going to share is something like, I don't know, very, very short. Is It's a very, very part 
short part of my free time that I do in, in this. And you can um, search it and use it. It's about um, history <laughs> in a very particular way. <laughs> I'm uh, sharing with you uh, this uh, profile. I like to, to read. I followed them since, I don't know, since five years ago or six, I can remember. But this, this guy, um, Rafael uh, Pudain, is a master of, of story. And they tell story uh, about anything about I, I like a story <laughs> I think like you can say yeah. and I like very uh, I like to know about be, be a, la, a lot of characters of the history um, and this guy has told uh, the, the history in a very good way he used memes <laughs> and 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 they and he tell a very particular facts uh, uh, about a uh, 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 a character or, or something like that. Um, here, where in in this in the thread in, in the thread of this this guy, I have uh, learned uh, a lot of things. A lot of things. Uh, uh, like you can watch and they uh, he uh, told story uh, also about uh, countries and, and the words something like political and I don't know if very <laughs> here is the, the the meme they they use uh, he used and but uh, it's very very good um, I can um, I don't feel the time when when I <laughs> read in the whole story about something and uh, for example here I, I read the history about in Juana de Arco <laughs> I don't know what to say um, and also the Grand Master Jacques de Molay and in the in the, the he, the order, he ordered. I don't know if you have read about that. And also, um, mm, there is uh, some songs and, and drug bands or metal bands that talk about history too. So and <laughs> sometimes uh, I I have uh, I have heard um, the the that songs and the history about our characters. But in when uh, I I I went here and I and I uh, find the, the history I don't know but uh, it's very very good uh, this guy sometimes they they may uh, Instagram live and and they share in hotel some story <laughs> so uh, it's just that that I I want to to share with you very good very interesting actually yeah i mean uh, i believe that one of the most important things that we need to do is to research about history to to know nowadays yeah. people uh, they just say something and they believe that that is true but we need actually to research right we need to check into that yeah. one i really love yeah. history as well so. yeah and when there is a story like Alexander Magno, something like that, and that I read in, in the profile of this of this guy. And I want to go deeper and I go to Google and search it right or, or some or some pages that are very good for this and and learn more. <laughs> very yeah, good. Interesting. It's so interesting. Which is the, the most interesting that you have read there? Mm. The Roman, in, I don't know how to say the Perry. Roman Imperial, okay, Imperio Romano, okay, and also some uh, from Japan from the from the age Edo, and where the, where the samurai exist in or that kind of things, the Ronin's and, and that kind of history. I love 
a lot. Okay. Very good, perfect. Maybe we need to follow that guy as well. I sometimes watch videos, but I, I guess it's a good idea too. Very good, thank you for sharing. Anybody has a question for Danny? No questions, good. Ada, you raised the hand. Yes, teacher. Yes, tell me. Hello. So you were going to say something or you are going to present yours? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. I not the compare. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I don't want So not possible, I guess. Okay, don't worry. Uh, let's see who else is. Yvonne, is it possible for you? Es que no le puedo compartir, teacher. Que quiera, no no puedo. Ah, but you can say. If you cannot share, you can just tell us. I mean, nos puedes nada más contar. That is not a problem. Um, eh, le voy a mandar el enlace al WhatsApp. Tal vez se puede, me lo puede compartir usted. Of course. Here comes the police. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Were you able to send it? Yes. I didn't receive it. You can send it to the group as well. Okay, let's do something. Uh, me lo manda y usted va a seguir la siguiente. Okay, cuando me lo manda me avisa. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna listen. Yvonne, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. Maria Alejandra. I sent you the picture too. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna show you whenever. You can be next after if you want. Let's see if okay. Maria can do it. Is it possible for you, Maria? Yes, teacher. Okay. Oh, I got it here, Ada Cáceres. So you are going to be the next and then uh, okay. Ana Claudia. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you see? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yes. <laughs> um, I choose to talk about my cactus and my succulenta because when I start the course, I say that <laughs> I love that cactus and succulenta and I have a lot of. And this year I have the opportunity to see a lot of flowers to the different cactus and can I have the opportunity to see the other years and this is my baby <laughs> <laughs> um, did you have a lot of flowers i have a lot of cactus i have a cactus and succulentas in my granny house and this year i have the opportunity to have in my house but in this moment i don't i didn't have a picture for that have a um, I escalera. Okay. Uh, when a lot of cactus and I have a, in a different pot, a baby cactus because I try to uh, reproduce or. <laughs> yeah, reproduce is fine. Uh, reproduce is fine. And I have a lot of baby cactus and maybe it depends that the flowers or that the 
the cactus need to translate to the other pop? I change at a, a little more big or like this. Um, in this picture, say a baby cactus in a floor. And I have mm -hmm. a, a different size. I can have the opportunity to see more flowers, but uh, it's a good experience when you buy one and you need more. <laughs> <laughs> And I think that the, the flowers are very, or the cactus that cost is very cheaper, or that cheaper compared to the other flowers, not need more space in your house or in, in a, I have a, in a small pot or my mother pot in a, pot a, in a window that, no sé cómo se llama eso. Como el enrejado. <laughs> ah, okay, like okay. rail. Ah, like, uh, like a rail and try to um, I can remember aprovechar. <laughs> take advantage. I take advantage of all the space in the house for you see beautiful. <laughs> and only that picture. Okay, perfect. Very good. So they are very good. I mean very nice i know that the good thing about this kind of plants is that they are very small so you can have a lot of them right uh-huh yes and the flowers is that important not compared with the galan de noche because uh -huh. a lot of flowers only see uh one day and don't open for more days or only that say for like dormilona open and close open and close and uh, it's, it's good. It's a beautiful. Okay, perfect. Yeah, they are very good. Very nice. Thank you for sharing. Anybody has a question for um, Maria Alejandra? Yes, I have a doubt. I don't know if is there like a cac kind of cactus that uh, just flower once in a year, something like that? Mm, maybe that. Uh, one people say me that the cactus and succulenta maybe have a, a I don't remember that a competition and you try to put all the succulentas near when one flower because all the all the other succulentas try to flower because mm. it's a competition. Yeah. And when you have a one to try put together, when one start to flower in the cactus, yes. and it, this year have the opportunity to have a baby cactus and a lot of baby cactus to give me a flowers. And I, I can hope to that see a flower this year for a lot of, but that depends that the environment is to have your, a cactus. Mm, okay. Interesting. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very good that you have research and that you are enjoying your flowers. Nice. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Now I see that you are able to share uh, Ada. So you can start. No sé si se logra ver, teacher. Eh, antes sí, ahorita ya no. Ahorita vemos el zoom, pero si lo cambia, ahí está, sí. Ahí puede seguir hablando. That's not a problem. Eh, no se tiene que cambiar a zoom, solo se queda ahí y ya, ya puede hablar. Ok. Ok. Eh, in my case, teacher, I, my selection and the I day celebration in the hospital in pandemic. Eh, the celebration is a doctor day. Okay. I, my day is uh, the first started early with this a surgery call uh, for the procedure and thrombectomy due to the obstruction of the cloth in the both lower limbs. And we just start the, at 7 a.m. and around the 11 a.m. 
Then we start the fields with the a light breakfast. It's a little breakfast with the fruit and granola and one, one cup of black coffee. Then they, then they will be calling us the from the different service to eat, must eat and eat. And they eat and before not, they prepare the bread and for the with the chicken and cake, sauce, drinks, coffee, plus coffee, gifts in the afternoon and the continue the surgeries. And despite the so much work I had very nice celebration with the people who love and they appreciate. And the are around in my house. I then the night continue the celebration at home and the, my family is a delicious case. It's a very, very, very beautiful day. It's a very interesting the 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 appreciate for the the people, the patient and the, my family. Very good, perfect. Yeah, it sounds like it was a very good day it was a very nice celebration so i remember that we congratulate you there here and and yeah your job uh, med, uh, doctor's job is very important for everybody so that is good anybody has a question for ada no teacher okay so thank you for sharing ada and now is the turn of uh, anna claudia teacher, uh -huh. that is, uh, seven minutes after 10 it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you have the time for me. I mean, oh no, no, I'm going to be brief, very brief. I just sent you the picture. This is uh, an equipment, a tool. It's uh, a yoga uh, foam, roller foam. It's very helpful. Uh, in my case, I didn't know that it's useful to relieve pain. Uh, this is. Um, Instead of taking too much pills, you can use it. And that is the second picture. In my case, I use it for legs, for the uh, muscle that is in the side, fascia lata. I suffer pain for that side. And this um, roll, roller helped me a lot. I tried this before taking a pill and it's cheaper and I can recommend it for anybody that's it okay very good it looks like a very nice thing how much is it no oh, believe it or not i just pay like 350 or four dollars something like this oh, cheaper wow. that's very good <laughs> yeah. nice <laughs> good thank you for sharing anybody has a question for anna claudia okay, it looks like you have to do you can do lots of things on that that's good a lot and relief pains. Mm -hmm. Very nice, perfect. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Francisco Eduardo, are you going to present yours? Not possible. Fernando? Uh, just to share, I, I, I have something to share with you. Perfect, tell us. Um, uh, I will be brief. Okay. Um, okay, let me see. Okay, I share with you my 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 favorite my favorite website. Okay, can you see? Yeah. Okay, uh, my favorite website is hypertextual.com. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, my favorite website is hypertextual.com. I have been read and. Along years, uh, articles of this of this website because they have um, an excellent an excellent articles about <clears throat> sorry about technology science uh, reviews of series movies uh, and and so on. Uh, the most of of articles are about technology, uh, but uh, they have. Um, I don't know articles about and topics, trending topics like Netflix is trending topic from yesterday because their subscription, you know, and they have 
uh, section for uh, movies, series, science, uh, technology, video games, aviation, tutorials. They had an excellent selection of, of um, articles, teacher. Sounds very good. I have never heard that one. So of course I'm going to research on that one. It sounds good, very good. And they have even economy, business, uh, some reviews about new devices. Um, I I started follow this website because they had this 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 kind of sections, a review of new series or new movies, and they they do a, a review for for chapter. For example, for example, we we saw this um, a review of Westworld. Westworld was an excellent series, the first season, only. And, yeah. and you know, science and down, there is um, articles about technology. The most are article is about technology, but they have science. I read very interesting articles about science in, in, this, in this page and culture, movies, television, etc. and business <clears throat> and some tutorials. I have learned um, some uh, trucos, tricks, some tricks in this in this page because they they have articles about about Apple and about Android. Okay, it and, sounds very interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's very very good. So I'm looking for a website uh, similar to this, but in English because. I need practice. So if you have any recommendation. Of course, yes, I can research on that one. I remember that I had something like that, but I don't remember which one was in English, but it was very good. Yeah. Okay. Oh. It, and it, it's, this is a very good one, actually, for you to learn and check some things because it has a lot of things. Yes. And Perfect. It. I recommend it. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Anybody has a question for Fernando? Okay, no question. The last one is Roxanne. Um, are you going to present something, uh, Roxanne? Not possible, I guess. Okay, so my friends, this is going to be the very end. I'm going to check the attendance only and then we can go and sleep. Ada Susana Cáceres, Mendoza. Present teacher. Good. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernandez. Okay, my friends, it was very interesting today. I hope you have a very good night. See you tomorrow and dream in English. Thank you, teacher. Thank See you, teacher. you tomorrow. Good, good night, night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night.